Now, whether you're looking for classic, timeless starter pieces, or you just want to jump right into the old money aesthetic trend and you don't know where to start, then you're in the right video because I curated an old money aesthetic starter pack that is relatively affordable and interchangeable with one another, no matter how you pair it. What's going on, gents? Richard here from Assembled Style, where I cover anything from men's fashion, lifestyle, even, you know, a little bit of product reviews here and there. But yeah, that's what I do on this channel. So if you're interested, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And for my returning viewers, please, 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 your support means everything to me. I really, really, really would appreciate if you just hit that like button or even the dislike button. Either one works. <laughs> let's get to it. So let's start off with footwear, shall we? Now, we need something classic, right? That's going to be versatile enough to go with trousers, jeans, chinos, and shorts, and that can pretty much work for any occasion. And my choice are the penny loafers. Now, we also need a sneaker for those casual outings that's not obnoxiously loud, colorful, or bulky. A shoe, you know, that has a clean, simple silhouette that fits, you know, the old money aesthetic. And I went with a pair of Reed sneakers or if you want to go with a slimmer, low-profile sneaker, then I suggest a German Army Trainer. There are many variations of these on the market, and I will link to alternatives that will fit anybody's budget. Now, if you want to adopt the 90s old money aesthetic, then I suggest a very light wash pair of denim. And for those dressier occasions, I suggest a pair of pleated high-rise trousers. Now, as for the tops, I suggest a light a uh, blue and a white dress shirt. Pairing this with the pleated trousers is gonna create that perfect base layer when you decide to layer it over with a sport coat or a sweater. Now, before I get to the sweaters, we also need some casual and smart casual shirts, which is why I suggest a you know classic Oxford shirt, a Johnny Collar polo, and a long sleeve camp shirt. So we pretty much just covered all our shirts. We have a shirt for every possible occasion from dressy all the way down to relax. As for the sweaters, you have a few options to choose from. If you want to go very preppy, then a cricket sweater is a good option, but you can choose anything from a quarter zip sweater to a plain solid, to a plain solid colored sweater. Just make sure to keep the colors neutral. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can build so many old money aesthetic outfits. I mean, you could first start with the dress trousers and dress shirt and then layer over the cricket sweater, or you could just replace the loafers with the German army trainers, keep the trousers, throw on the camp shirt, and then you have more of a relaxed kind of old money aesthetic look. There are so many things you could do with this. So many combinations that are completely fail proof and yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want me to cover more old money aesthetic stuff. I could do old money aesthetic accessories. Uh, but yeah, that wraps up this video. And guys, I made sure to link, uh, leave links for all the items that I just showcased here. I'll leave it down in the description below for you guys to check out. And that wraps up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.